I know that if you're new to reptile keeping, trying to understand supplements, why we provide them, what to use and how to use them can be kind of confusing. So I've put together this foolproof supplement guide. and welcome back to my channel. So recently I've had quite a few people ask me to do an updated supplement schedule because the last one I did that was years ago now and I use completely different supplements and I feel like I have a better understanding of them now. As well as this I will also share the lighting settings I have with my UV lamp so if you did want to know how to use your UV lamp alongside these supplements this should set you up well. Now of course keep in mind this is just a guide, this is just what I use and what I do. You can always choose whichever brand you want or whatever lighting settings you prefer, this isn't set in stone. I've always been transparent with my work, I do work for Arcadia, but I have used these supplements ever since they came out, which I think was like five or so years ago, so I feel the proof is in the pudding, um, and I'm just sharing with you guys what I use, um, and if you already use Earth Proof supplements or other Arcadia products, let me know in the comments below. Now, the supplements I use, Earth Pro A, Calcium Pro Magnesium, and Revitalize D3. I will go through each one in a moment, but first, um, if you want to know like what every vitamin and mineral does and why they're so important and why calcium and D3 isn't just enough, um, I do have a video on that. So I won't be repeating that in this video just because it's a whole different topic, but I will link that below. In terms of how do you use supplements on the feeders, how do you even get them to stay on the insect? So you want to take a food bag, or in my case a glass here, and pop some supplements in it. I actually have a glass that says vitamins and minerals on it, one that says calcium on it, I tend to just keep it separate. You pop the insects in, you shake them around a bit, and the supplements will stick on. Now in the past when I've used other supplements, they sometimes didn't stick well or a lot of it dropped off and in some cases, and this maybe it's changed but this was a while ago, they would actually say to dampen the insects just so the powder would stick on. Whereas I believe these supplements are clay based so they actually stick really nicely. Also, unlike other supplements, these are all natural and non-toxic, so you don't have to worry that you might be accidentally over-supplementing. For example, some vitamins and minerals contain high dosages of fat-soluble vitamins, and these get stored in the body, so you don't actually need to be topping these up like at every feed. And if you do, so for example, if your vitamin and mineral powder contains synthetic D3, you're using that with every feed, you can end up having like liver problems and stuff because it gets stored in round organs. It's not good. So that's one thing I like about this. You don't have to worry about all of that stuff. So let's go through the supplements I use. Number one, Earth Pro A. So this is going to be your main supplement. The A is nothing to do with vitamin A or anything like that. It's meant to represent A, the first part of the Arcadia feeding program. And by the way, the whole feeding program is actually available on the website, which I'll link below, but I will be referencing throughout this. So Earth Pro A is to be used on feeds one, two, three, five, six, seven. That's not day one to three and five to seven, but feeds. So if you're feeding daily, that could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But say you're doing every other day, you spread that out a little. Another thing is these packs last a long time. I actually have the old version here, which I'm just about to run out of, and the new one. So if you see either of these, they're, they're the same thing. Next up, calcium pro magnesium. So the added magnesium actually helps with the absorption of calcium. So I use this rather than plain calcium, although if you want to use that, you can. Arcadia do do a calcium as well, or you could have any other calcium powder. Um, but I feel like the added magnesium makes a real difference. Now, obviously, you want to pop that in your gecko's tank at all times, in these little calcium bowls. I actually make these on my Etsy shop. Yeah, I'm going to plug my Etsy shop and my website. I'll leave the links below. <laughs> but you pop that in the tank and they can go up and have it whenever they want. However, you also can provide calcium pro magnesium on every fourth feed. Once again, I have the old and new packaging. So if you see either of these, they're the same. And finally, I use Revitalize D3. Now, this is one of the newer supplements, and sometimes this throws people off a little bit. So you can get this in either a tub or a tin. I have both. Um, and let me tell you, this smells lush. Seriously, if you've got some, or you're gonna get some, 
give it a whiff not too close you don't want to accidentally snort some but <laughs> when you open it it smells like berries or something it smells really nice and that's another thing like some of the supplements i used to use like years ago obviously i've owned my geckos for like 17 years i've been through a lot of supplements um they used to smell really bad to the point that like your geckos would like sniff them and like turn away whereas these actually smell really nice now Revitalize D3 contains a little bit of vitamin A, D3 and E, so those are those fat soluble vitamins but in very low doses. This can give your gecko a bit of a boost and you use it on feed 8. On the website the feeding program does also show shed support. Now personally I haven't needed to use this but shed support is good for problem shedders if you want to go to the root of the problem rather than you know getting that water and try to take it off the toes obviously still do that but say you have this gecko that's continually having problems with shedding or in a rescue situation maybe you've got this gecko it's recovering from bad care then the shed support can give them the boost of those nutrients, those vitamins and minerals it needs in order to get better at shedding. So you would use that over the shedding period. But as I said, my geckos don't tend to have any problems with shedding, so I just don't use this. Now lighting wise, I use a Jungle Dawn LED bar and a Pro T5 7% Shade Dweller. The Shade Dweller is the one that provides the UV, so Earth Pro supplements must be used alongside UV. There's a standard version and then there's the luminized version. I do intend to upgrade all of the geckos to luminized, but that'll be in a future video. For the standard lamps, at the moment I have them come on at 7.30 a.m. and go off at 6 p.m. Obviously, this can vary from season to season. So, for example, the day might be a bit longer in summer and shorter in winter. These are Diego's current luminized settings. Once again, these can easily be changed from season to season. You don't have to copy exactly what my schedule is. Uh, just do what works best for your gecko. Obviously, there's lots of different brands out there that you can try, but to be honest, when people ask me, oh, is it okay if I'm using, I don't know, the Rapashi Calcium one every feed, or if I'm using the Nutribol one, is that even still a thing? That's what I used to use. Is that right? I don't know, because frankly, a lot of the time these brands don't make it clear how often you should use these. So when I did my old supplementing guide, that was literally what I had been told by the breeder that I'd got Gizmo and Mini from and what I'd been doing for years. But as time has gone on and better supplements have come out and they come with guides, I figured I would do this. Um, but as I said, you could choose any brand, just make sure you do your research and you're not over or under supplementing your animal. So here's a quick recap. Use a UV lamp. If you're feeding daily, so if you have a gecko under six months old, your schedule would look like this. Feeding every other day, so a gecko that is six to 12 months, it will look like this. And if you have an adult gecko and you're feeding, say, every three or four days, it will look like this. As I said, I'll leave links to the official feeding program below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. But thanks for watching and goodbye.